Great to see you. Thank you both for your time. Um, is this what it took to bring you out of the dark? And <laughs> well, I directed yeah. for, yeah, I've been yeah. directing a lot recently. So I did, you know, directed in the last five years, I directed two movies and a whole bunch of television. And yeah. um, I had to find something that I really loved in order to go back to acting again. And um, that's how it's going to be. Like, it, I got to love it. You know, I got to feel passionate about it and feel like it's transformative. And this character is, is such a transformation, such a physical and emotional transformation for me that I, uh, without it being a gimmick, I think she, she felt really raw and I was just excited to do it. It was a little unusual seeing you yeah. as the little old lady. <laughs> the little lady, that's me. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's amazing how just inhabiting the character, whether it's with a wig and a fat pad and, you know, some yeah. yellow teeth, you know, how that um, just changes everything. And um, uh, she's she's a wonderful woman, I think, and it's such an interesting relationship that she mm. has with Everest, who's kind of her uh, surrogate son uh, that she loves so much, and you know that because they she says really mean things to him all the time. Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's, uh, that's and I think that's the kind of the, the core of the film, the the heart of the film is the relationship between Nurse and Everest, mm -hmm. and, you know, the connection that they have and the loyalty that they have to one another. You know, running this hospital for criminals. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a bit of a change of pace for you, Dave. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you play a healthcare professional, I yeah, understand. Right. <laughs> right, yeah. And that's, you know, that's the great thing about Evers is he's, and I think with a lot of the characters, like jo Joey said earlier, a lot of the, these characters, they just, they have these identities that they're defending. Mm. But I think with Everest, his, you know, the, his identity, his true identity is he's a product of his violent environment. But that's not who he wants to be. He wants to be a healthcare professional. He wants to care for people. He wants to help people. He wants to be respected as a healthcare professional. So that's where he finds his validation. And I think that's why he says it over and over. And he needs, you know, he needs to feel that validation. I think that's the person he is, as, aspires to be. Yeah. Well, and it's interesting because he seems somewhat conflicted when mm -hmm. he's surrounded by by all these violent yeah. criminals. Right. Well, I, I think you know, I don't think there's conflict. I think what it is is that he wants to be a good person, he wants to do the right thing, but I think he feels like he's being forced to be the person he used to be. And that's the conflict. I think he knows who he, who he wants to be, but the conflict is he's being forced to be somebody he used to be. He wants to have left that in the past, but, you know. Okay. Um, Jody, I know that you were sort of the impetus for this, to get this movie going, and, and there seems to be some mystery how you got a hold of the script. <laughs> Hollywood mystery. Yeah, I got to comb far and wide because I don't like anything. So, um, you know, I really do have to read everything. I read everything, including yeah. roles for men uh, yeah. that sometimes can be flipped. Yeah. And that's happened to me a number of times where I've really responded to a movie that was written for a man and just flipped it to a woman, and that's worked out really well. Um, how much uh, input did you have on, well, I guess, rounding out the nurse, or, or if any, was she... Well, you know, it's, it's Drew's movie. He gets to take credit for everything, because he really is the vision of the film. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what we just do is we just have conversations. You know, we have conversations, and hopefully he can download that into right. the script and deepen the character. That's all you're doing. Not changing the character, but deepening the character mm -hmm. by saying, I feel like she's more like this or less like that. or. Right. Um, and those conversations were really fun, yeah. I think, and, and, and collaborative. I think that's one of the great things about Drew yeah. is, is he's willing to have that conversation because some directors aren't, yeah. you know, some writers aren't, but he was just so open-minded about you just, you know, putting a piece of yourself into this character and he was so, uh, just willing to let you do that, you know. Mm -hmm. It was a great thing, man. It's a great luxury to have. I was, I kept thinking how much the character of the nurse revolves around the aspect of being a mother. It, it yeah. kind of informs it, everything, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, the nurse is living mm. with these ghosts, you know, ghosts of the past that she can't quite shake. Mm. And um, so she's, she basically, she just can keep fixing people and, you know, just keep doing that over and over and over again. She won't have to, she'll be distracted from the past that she can't get over. Right. Um, and then maybe she can fix that past by the, by the present. Mm. Um, and I think all of the characters are struggling with identity and mm. struggling with um, being in this kind of, prison in a way that they can't get out of. They just keep doing the same thing over mm -hmm. and over and over again, hoping that there will be a different result. <laughs> was it kind of a haunting place for you to inhabit? or? I, I just think it was lovely. You know, it's, it's, What's extraordinary about the movie is that it has this really unique original tone, that it's, it's half 
kind of retro, vintage, Hollywood, old movie, 1920s, downtown film that has this Wong Kar Wai feeling to it with the Barbara Stanwyck kind of banter. And then the other half is this badass sci-fi, mm. you know, uh, action film. And, and those two things get married so interestingly together. Mm. It's I mean, a, yeah, no, no, I was just going to say it. It's, it really is. It's such a... It's such a unique contrast because you have this kind of violent surrounding, but within the within the hotel, it's a very nostalgic kind of romantic feeling of, of old Hollywood. It's just uh, it is it's an odd feeling. What uh, which of the the cinematic references did you um, notice or admire? You know, I mean, there's so, so much many. history of of LA underbelly. Yeah. You know, there's so many. I mean, I, I feel like Drew's really drawn to Casablanca, yeah. that that was his, you know, that's really his thing, is the yeah. Casablanca references. But, mm. you know, I always just go for character. I, I never like to think about, I'm going to do this character like this or this movie like that. I always just like to make it feel original and put all those things away. Mm. Did it feel good to be back in front of the camera? <laughs> yeah, I think it felt good. It feels mm. good to, yeah, it feels good to do something that I love, you know, and that I feel I have something to say. It would feel terrible if I didn't have anything to say and it was just doing it for all the wrong reasons. And mm. I mean, more than anything, that's something that I've learned. I want to be doing this for the right reasons. Mm. And so I think everybody can know that if, if you're going to see me in a, fo in a film, then there's going to be a reason why I'm there. Otherwise, I will be at the gym. Mm. <laughs> I'll be doing something else. Mm. I'll be skiing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the same for me. It was kind of a... Yeah, Jody's really um, where I want to be. Like, I want to <laughs> be able to, you know, to be able to pick and choose my projects and, and do something because I love it. And I also want to have the opportunity to direct. And I want to be able to direct for five years and, and say, well, if I find something I, I love, I'll do it. And, mm -hmm. and people not question, they'll just be happy to have me there. <laughs> <laughs> We're not happy to have so me there. So basically, I want to be Jody Foster. <laughs> <laughs> we can switch bodies. It'll be like a Freaky Friday. I'll be Dave and he'll be Oh, me. my God. <laughs> Don't throw ideas out there. Somebody's writing that script right now. 